Um, I've seen pictures of this before. The, the demon there. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters! Silence! I've asked you to come to the Hall of Eternity because the peace of our community has been disturbed. <gasps> One of us has prevented the carnal act from being consummated. Show yourself, heretic! Who are you? Oh my god. It's like being... like we're choking... Interrogate Henry at the start. Oh, uh, let's go with my real name. My name is Miguel de Castro, son of Don Alvaro de Castro, the Duke of Fuentenegra. Is that so? We'll be sure to send our condolences to the Duke. <laughs> you have been my right hand since we started this church. But you've betrayed us! Confess your crime! I offered my soul to the devil to curry favor with him. That's a crime? Haven't we all? Okay, call the cultists. I've tortured innocent people to extract their knowledge. And you were probably one of the best torturers this order has ever seen. But that's not the source of your betrayal. Okay, sacrilege profanity. I've opened tombs, profaned cadavers, and stolen their organs. I myself asked you to do it. You can't be repentant for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've murdered over 50 people in cold blood. Men, women, old people, and... And? You lost your resolve, heretic. You disobeyed my orders when you helped the one chosen to complete the carnal act. <gasps> he was just a child. And what difference does age make when you have eternal life? He had to die in order to come back to life and give meaning to our quest. Do you repent for your treachery? I do it again, Venus. <gasps> What should we do with him, brothers and sisters? Life or death? Let it be death, then. But Satan is the only merciful God, and he is going to give you a second chance. After your death, you will return to life to serve him again, docilely and without any possibility of betrayal. I'll never do it. No? Listen carefully. In nomine de nostri Satanas Luciferi Excelsi! After years of searching, we've hit on the exact combination of torture and alchemy elements that make up the formula for eternal life. Miguel de Castro, you've been tortured according to the ritual, and now you will drink from the chalice of eternal life. Salt and sulfur to purify it. Iron to strengthen it. Gold to return. Mercury. Iron in honor of Satan. Mercury. And the coin of judgment to outwit the creator himself. Mercury to remember. The moment is at hand, brothers and sisters. Make him drink it. I was right about the mercury. I remember him now, Mercury. brand him with fire, so that we recognize him when he returns. Oh, Satan, you who have granted eternal life to this heretic, allow me to take it from him momentarily so that he may rise again and give evidence of your works. Kill the prisoner. In the name of the Holy Inquisition, the sacrilegious priest, Inez the Authority, and all the members of the diabolic order of the flesh, they shall be judged in their own blasphemous church and burned under the open sky. I would accept to other heretics. This sentence is executed today, the 31st day of August of the year 1501 of our law.
see. That's the scary guy's masks. With a chainsaw. <laughs> a blowtorch? What kind of weapons are that? Your friend, Mr. White's about to arrive. It would be easy for me to look away from the two men holding He wants you. you to prepare him a recipe. You remember it, don't you? But then what were the, the too many of them? Can't cut your tongue? Unless you use I do remember you. You learned many lives and ago. I you. Every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move! You've already mastered sword fighting. Why are you still here, apprentice? You still haven't taught me how to control the unknown sense. You are not ready. When will I be? Bring me a truth flower. And you'll teach me to use the unknown sense? Bring me a truth flower. So I need a true flower, a true flower which would... True flower. I need the true flower because then I can learn the unknown sense and destroy those guys out there. Why have you decided to end my sword fighting lessons? Because the pupil has surpassed the master. Oh, so I'm better than you with the sword. How did you go blind, master? For touching myself too much. <laughs> but I couldn't have things you do when you're young. I'm so sorry, master. It must have been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. How did you go blind, Master? For touching myself too much. <laughs> but I shouldn't have things you do when you're young. Really? I seem to remember you telling me another story. Better to remember that you have memory problems, young disciple. Trust me, not it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why is there always incense in the burner on the porch? Because its aroma penetrates the soul. It shows us our inner self and helps us become one with the universe. I understand. I love pulling your leg, young disciple. <laughs> Why can't I remember anything about my previous life? It's not my role to help you with that, young disciple. Nevertheless, something I teach you today might Help you recover your memory tomorrow. Why can't I remember anything about my previous life? It's not my role to help you with that, young disciple. Nevertheless, something I teach you... Okay. Things on the frontier. I think you must use this to switch the Zampa! <laughs> can't... Master's giving you blessing. Take a little honey, just a little with a ladle. So I got a jar full of ladle with honey. Cool. Block of yak butter. It's like just uh, give myself a to take a block of butter. Cool. Being a, a sampa, we're speaking very few things repulse you as much as peas. <laughs> Little Sue, you must use it to cook the sampa. Can I use a sword to open that? I sense your intentions, young apprentice. But I don't want sunlight today. Don't open it. I'll cut off one finger. For each hand width, you open the window. Okay. But I'm better than you with the sword. Um... I want stuff off here now. My table fell apart, unfortunately. Blah blah. Especially dressed you. Let's go back outside. So there's now a bird. Bird just below the truth flower. Oh, I know what I need to do. You're a bird. I have seats. You're a bird. I have seats. And the holes on the wall here. Put the kill kill the holes on the wall. He flies back. 
but it didn't give me any sort of flower, did it? Uh, well, okay. I need more seeds which I can take from here. Yes, honey sticky stuff. Put honey on there. And I put the flower the curls in the other one. I better come over. I'm gonna leave me a flower. So kind of you. Thank you. Better be a flower there. I was thinking about it, you say not to clean the honey left there. What? Oh, do I need to fill the other hole with yaks butter? Take a few more curls. You could cut the butter, but you don't. Okay. Maybe I heat the butter in here. Now the butter would kind of be awful this. Although yak butter used some places to make candles, you must have reject such prudences. Okay, I have the sword. Let's try putting the kills in there again. Food for the last time and. Bring me flower this time. Yes, you always left me something. Let's go that several seeds that have fallen from the brushes into the nest. So I got some seeds. Okay. So, I have seeds. Oh, yak bad, I can use the yak bad on that thing. Grease and jams regularly crank the turn. So let's turn it. Give me a bucket, okay. It could have been lying at the bottom of the void for years. You'd have to lean out over the void and tie the knot, but that tied the bucket. Too risky. Too risky? Can I use my sled? Until you finish your prints, you cannot leave. What do I use a yak's tooth for? I can pull up this plant and plant it. Yeah, can I? Yeah. This is some temperature of less than what there. Can I use my knife? Jamming with a katana, you break the layer of ice that surrounds this. Pull up at the roots. You can put the seed in. Yeah. It would take a long time to germinate, so. Because of salty spring snow means water. Don't need any of that. Shows me the void. Basicals. Oh, I need that bucket. I need that bucket. I need to figure out how to get that bucket. Uh, can I use a katana to get it? Rope. Oh, actually, it'll be a blade. I got the bucket. Time to we put the bucket and get some ice. Yes, I know now. I'm going to burn it above the incense and I go and water the plant. Aha, I'm so clever. It's so clever. Let's work it on the burner and I know how water. So I can have actually, actually an extra drink of water now. And the master would never know. You water the seed day after day, week after week, until. You have demonstrated that you possess the patience, the astuteness, the perseverance, and the respect for life required to learn to control your unknown sense. Thank you, Master. Have you finished your chores for today? Yes, Master. Good. Because today you won't be capable of doing anything else. Prepare. You have eyes 
and open your unknown sense. Prepare yourself. Never be able to, to do it. Never doesn't exist. Patience, yes. This time you lasted one second longer. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Release her. Not yet. First, you're going to make me immortal. Not on your life. Such rancor. And what about her? No! Ah! You have 20 minutes to prepare the potion. Half hour at most. Your sainted mother has brought everything a good alchemist could possibly need. Right, Doctor? She's not my mother. Recognize this, John? I found it in Bratislava. Who knows how it got there? Yeah. Well, a simple carpenter's cup would have worked just as well. <laughs> Funny. John. Indiana Jones reference. <laughs> Thank you, John. So, John, tell me everything. Did you meet Napoleon? Nostradamus? Marilyn Monroe? Hitler? Have you ever stopped to think... I can kill you, but you can't kill me. Of course I can, John. The best part is that when I kill you, you'll go back to being my friend. A single bullet and we'll make up. My dear Mrs. Remind, Henry Cooper, your fake mother. Why were you pretending to be my mother? John, Henry made me do it. He threatened me. He invented this entire story to get you involved in the investigation. Who are you really? Who I say I am. Elaine yesterday. Okay. Is it true what you told me about... about your husband? Almost all of it. Frank was my thesis director, and I fell in love with him. He died at 84, three years ago, peacefully in his bed. Not in Cadway Station, like I told you. Henry invented that story and had me tell it to you. Bitch. Are you really an expert on medieval sects? All the books and articles written by Frank and myself that you read were authentic. How did you get involved in all this? Henry hired me two years ago when he had only one clue. The symbol of the Y. I learned of its connection to the Order of the Flesh. The torture methods they employed. But that's it. A few months ago, Henry hired me again. But this time at gunpoint. I pretended to be your mother up until your fake suicide in Paris. And when you came back to life, I played the role again, as if nothing had happened. Okay. What do you get out of all this? I stay alive. If Pauline comes back to life, we'll all drink from this chalice. Um, yeah, right. You know, Henry, do you really believe he'll let you drink from it? Yes. Uh, right, Henry? Of course, Elaine. You know me, and you know that I'm not a tight one. I'm the American millionaire who dedicates the most money and time to charity. White Enterprises shares its patents with any NGO that wants to use them for the common good. I've created hospitals, schools, and community centers all over the country. You know me, and you know that I do whatever is necessary to get what I want. But you also know that when I have something, I share it. Helene, you can rest assured that when I become immortal, you will too. Yeah, but he's also killed thousands of people. How long were you torturing me in that room? From the day we took you there, two years went by. But I missed out on the first month, thanks to you. Okay. That scar, does it hurt? Only when it's gonna rain. The doctors that Henry hired were the best. In less capable hands, I would have never made it. Did you enjoy torturing me? Yes. It made me feel good. Powerful. Dangerous. Fulfilled. Revenge is addictive. <laughs> 